Dr. Watt is medical director at CityMD. We're happy to have her on tonight. Doctor, Thank thanks so much for coming on. Last so time. what do we know about where this virus came? There's a lot of speculation, as you well know, about where this virus came from. What do we know for sure now? Sure, Tucker. It's a challenge understanding the spectrum of this virus because there are so many unknowns, so many questions still unanswered, and we're still learning a lot about this virus. For example, can you spread it from if you're asymptomatic? Um, we just saw that there was a newborn baby who was 30 uh, hours old and got it from his mom. So we know it can be spread asymptomatic. We know it can spread from maternal fetal transmission. We know from coughing and sneezing human to human. But now we believe that there might be a new animal involved. It's called a pangolin. We understood that they probably, the virus probably was from bats, but we also feel that bats contaminated this new creature, kind of looks like an armadillo. Um, it's called a pangolin, and it's actually considered an endangered species. Um, Chinese people use their scales and uh, to treat uh, for medicinal purposes, and their meat is also used. So it's been used for many, many years. They're an endangered species, but we now believe that they may be an intermediary in transmitting the virus to humans. Yeah, well, if you eat animals like that, it's not surprising bad things happen. But what, and I, I'm just throwing this at you cold, and I'm certainly not endorsing this, yeah. but there has been a lot of speculation, not all of it, but I don't know, you assess it, that this is not a naturally occurring virus, that it was somehow created by the Chinese government. Is there any evidence of that at all? What do you think of that? No, I think that this virus has existed. There has been studies and data that shows it's actually existed for many, many years. It's just that the virus has mutated. It's changed. The DNA has changed. But there's still a lot of unknown answers. We, the more information that we have, Tucker, the more we're better to able, the more we're, we're able to better understand the virus, how it replicates, what's its gene sequence, and that can help us to discover medicines and treatments and vaccines. Um, that's right. why there's a little bit of um, hesitation from China to let us in, let us help what are you hiding let us be there to help discover new treatments new medications yeah. we're sending medicines from the u.s to china hiv medicines medicines called uh, remdesivir which was used to treat sars and ebola to see if these uh, medications can help tackle the virus in china but we don't know for sure uh, where this uh, virus originated we suspect from yep. bats the gene sequencing in bats similarly resonates um, re uh, looks like it does uh, in the virus that's been transmitted to humans but but still a lot of information we need to uncover. Yeah. We need more research Apparently, for sure. Apparently, we do. Doctor, thanks so much for that update. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you.